Hello there, greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, Light for Your Daily Path. Our topic today is High Impact by Wisdom. And this is our part seven. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. Friends, as we understudy the life of Solomon, we will observe that Solomon lacked the experience to govern a complex nation like Israel. Now, even though David had appointed him, you know, as co-regent when he realized that his oldest son, Adonijah, intended to take the throne, we never heard that Solomon did anything exceptional before he became king. So I believe Solomon understood his situation and his limitation. He understood that he needed God's wisdom to win with his responsibilities. I believe that he must have reasoned and said to himself, I don't have what people believe can make a man successful and exceptional. This is why I need God's wisdom. And his story shows us how God's wisdom announced him and gave him much less relevance. Maybe this looks like your own story where you face certain demands on a day-to-day -day basis. You are faced with certain responsibilities and challenges that you lack the experience or the skill to handle. You need God's wisdom. Possibly others around you boast about their strength and capabilities and you know that you cannot measure up with them. You need to lean on God's wisdom. As you press for the wisdom of God, those who looked down on you and talked down on you will soon come to learn at your feet. Dear friends, today is another day for you to ask the Lord for wisdom and for you to allow him by his wisdom to guide you to be better, to do better, and just to grow in all areas of your life. I believe that this has blessed you greatly. i like you to please ponder on these words, meditate on them, and you will be refreshed every time you do. I encourage you also to pay very close attention to our wisdom push of today. Today's declaration and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. The Lord bless you richly in Jesus. Then go have an amazing day.